Hey, welcome to Trailer Trash Games. I'm Trailer Trash, and today we have something exciting. I just scored another 200 coins um, in like the versus challenge for Theme Deck, and you're probably thinking, "Big whoop, 200 coins." However, that 200 coins buys me the last pack I needed to get 20 Guardian um, Rising booster packs, so I get to do another opening, which should be awesome especially if i get some good cards man fingers crossed fingers crossed so let's um head over to the shop buy that last pack oh is that new is that why there's a mm, card sleeves and stuff cool anyway getting distracted all right, we want one. Confirm. Okay, collection. We have 20 of these now. So let's get right into it. Um, do I need to like have any announcements or say anything beforehand? I don't think so. Um, no, I guess uh, we're hoping for some um, cards to help with my Psimian deck. Feeling a little, little bit of the, um, what is it called? Like it wasn't super strong before, but I think it's, it's a little bit weaker now after this new, new set. So I'm hoping I can score some cards in here to help push it a little bit further. So, um, yeah, unfortunately though, there isn't really any great, um, fighting energy cards. Um, Pseudo Moon, is it Pseudo, Pseudo Moodoo, Hoodoo, or something like that? I can't remember. I need to see it. Um, that's that was pretty cool, cool, but everything else isn't super great. Yeah, even that's not that great. All right, can we get something amazing? No, I don't think this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, flip a coin and it doesn't do anything. Is that right? Flip a coin if heads is ta oh, does twenty more raging thunder, thirty damage to one of your. Even ugh. let's open another. All right. Ah, oh, full out of this dude would be good. But I don't think he's useful for my deck. Shuffle your hand into your deck if you have used it. Your GX attack draw seven cards. If not, draw four. Yeah. You need to start using GXs. All right. Come on. Something good. Ugh. Oh wait a minute. What's his ability? Once during your turn before you attack, you may move one damage counter from one of your Pokemon to another Pokemon. Ugh. Stadium, uh, basic. See, man, freaking green energy gets all the cool stadiums. I don't know if that's that greatest stadium, but still, 30 less damage from opponents' attacks is pretty sweet. Yeah, it's a theme deck card, and. This one do. Search your deck for up to three basic fire Pokemon and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Uh, discard an energy from this Pokemon. If you do, discard an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Hmm. Like the dance is kind of cool. I think that's what Talonflame used to do, but with water energy Pokemon maybe? I can't remember. Open another. Oh, here we go. Here's a guy. Pseudo Woodoo. Yeah, Pseudo Woodoo. Um, so I'm hoping I can. I don't. Yeah, I'm sort of not sure where to take the. Um, this is awesome. Rescue Stretch is great. 
Boom. What's this guy do? Flip a coin for each electric energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 80 damage for each head. So that's pretty badass. But it is stage 2 and there's a lot of energy there. This attack does 30 less damage for each uh, star in your opponent's active Pokemon retreat cost. Hmm. Could be interesting. I'm not sure about the cost though of everything. It's a bit steep. I guess it only really needs one. Uh, one uh, electric and then the rest is um, double colorless but still dropping two double colorless on one it's pretty pricey still nothing great I see this a fair bit in the standard games but I just kind of chuckle because it doesn't affect my guys because I use Pissimian <laughs> So we got we have max potion. The um what's it? This is good for those really annoying like uh, trolling decks, like Lapras deck, stuff like that, where they the Pokemon's only got one energy on it in the first place, and they yeah, and they aren't even really attacking with it anyway. Frustrating. Ooh, nice. Um, I believe this is uh, good for those sort of trolling decks that I was just talking about because that magical ribbon um, search your deck for three cards and put them into your hand and then shuffle your deck now remember how um, if you've watched any of my uh, standard gameplay vids with uh, Pissimian you'll know how much I love teammates in that deck because it lets you search your deck for just two Pokemon, uh, or two, sorry, any cards in your deck. And yeah, Magic Ribbon, three, and your Pokemon doesn't have to die? That's pretty sweet. That is a real, that's, that's a good pull. Um, and if you can't tell I'm excited, I am, but it's not really the style of gameplay I kind of like to play and believe in, but it's a good card. Um, I'm not 100% sure how the rest of the card goes, but Magical Ribbon's definitely, definitely a thing, and it's pretty um, popular at the moment. Alright, open another. All these stupid troll decks. Or they're just the decks that don't let you play, basically. Disrupt. Yeah, we got our guy again, Pseudo Voodoo. How many do I have of him? Five. And... Oh, for a second there I thought it was Klefki and I was like, you bastard, I hate that Pokemon. Um, nothing to do with a card, it's just the Pokemon's stupid. Just like how I like Drowsy, even though his cards aren't very good. I think the Pokemon's cool. Alright, each of your Pokemon that has any fairy energy attached to it can't be affected by special conditions. Remove any special conditions from those Pokemon. Not really sure. There isn't really that many special conditions used in standard. And Goth Itel. Goth Itel? Goth Itel? Sounds about right. Tractor Beam. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active. This attack does 30 damage to the new active. That's kind of cool. But stage 2 and only 30 damage. If this Pokemon and your opponent's active Pokemon have the same amount of energy attached to them, this attack does 80 more damage. That's pretty cool. Hmm. But getting the energy right is a bit of a pain. It means you might have to just drop extra energy on him. Or her. Open another. How many have we got? Oh yeah, we've gone through 8 so far. Okay, wishy-washy. 
And what do we get? Another one. Is that three? So just we've gotten two today. Actually, that's the first two that I've got. Maybe I've got a couple of the reverse hollows of it. Alright. What else we get? What we get, what we get. Ooh, another one. <laughs> um Alright. This attack damage isn't effective by way. That's pretty cool, that 190. Swap a basic for a, um, like a GX of your opponent or an EX. Um, could be good. Because it's basically what Pissimian does. But that is freaking a pain in the ass. The three fighting energy. Getting three fighting energy down is tough. Hmm. Interesting, interesting card. Could be something there. Um, also, I was just thinking, I kind of wish that you could swap out um, in the theme decks. Like if you say had a full art trainer, or if you had like the bling version of Beware, like here, you could swap out um, because it's the same card, does the exact same thing. It just looks cool, like the card sleeves and whatever and stuff like that. If you could do that in the theme decks, that'd be cool. Alright, uh, let's open another, and we are halfway through. Well, there's 10 packs left, so... Is that half yeah, that's halfway through. Boom. So we got another one of these guys. We are due for another good card. And we did not get it. Though this might be alright, but it's just not a fancy card. It's only damage to your Prince of Pokemon. Oh, each of your opponent's Pokemon. That's pretty cool, but it's stage two. You may discard two water energy from this Pokemon. If you do, you get Infernal Paralyzed. You just use it for hail, I think. But 20 is not heaps. Because it puts the pressure on, maybe. Or if you got an attack like a, a what's his name? Gengar or something hiding. Uh, open another. You really need to know like all your Pokemon to figure all this stuff out. Really Garbodor, sweet. How many do I have? I got two. Nice. Cause he's pretty pretty popular at the moment. In standard. And by popular I mean just about everybody uses him. And he's often thrown in decks that say normally don't really use him or, or like the synergy's not super strong, he's just tacked on. Uh, what's this one? Petal Blizzard, this attack does 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Stage 1. Uh, Petal Dance, flip 3 coins, this attack does 40 damage for each heads. And this Pokemon is now confused. That's kind of shit. Unless, yeah, that's shit. Unless there's something that like gives it a bonus in the next one or something. I don't know. Yeah. Or maybe I misread it. All right. So he's a fighting. Prevent all damage done to your bench Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. Your opponent's attacks and abilities can't put damage counters on your bench Pokemon. Mm. Just trying to think how many times I get attacked, my bench Pokemon get attacked in the standard. Not very often. Hmm. Ooh, yeah, and no, we got two of these guys, I think. Yes, two. And he's fighting, so maybe. Hmm. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active. One fighting and two double colors does 110. What's dangerous rogue GX? This attack does 50 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. 
So what, you can have five? So what, 250? Damage? That's alright. Maybe he could be a thing. I don't know. But then if I start dropping in these cards, I won't use Persimian, and then technically I'm not really restricted to fighting energy. However, having two of them does help. Alright, how many got? We got six left. Got a lot of these guys, don't I? Yeah. They're solid. These guys are solid. And especially in um, theme deck as well. Ooh. Full art Vicar Vault. And what does he do? Charge beam for one energy. Oh, stage two though. Damn. Anyway. Uh, attach an energy card from your discard pile to this Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Um, though would I have very many energy in the discard pile? Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Not in the decks that I usually play. Oh, but is it a basic? No, it doesn't have to be a basic. Hmm, that's cool. Alright, discard two energy from this Pokemon. Super Zap Cannon. That's cool. 180, damn. This attack does 60 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Nice. He's pretty good. He's stage two, but he's pretty good. That's a that's a solid card. All right, so I think that's three now, isn't it? Uh, we got Lycan Rock, Vicar Vault, and. Who was the first one? I can't remember now. Damn. I'm pretty sure it's three. Uh, we haven't really had very many packs with the double um, face down cards though. Because usually I. I well, you can't quote me on it, but I seem to remember most of my full art. Um, what is it? Full art uh, trainers have been in this card position. Like right where wishy-washy is. Ugh. Worst card. Even in theme deck it sucks. Okay. Bam. Oh. It's like wants to be clef key. All right, let's open another. I think we're down to the last three, maybe. Oh, yes, yeah, so this one. No, it doesn't make it bigger. All right, let's go. Full art trainer. Son of a bitch. Wishy cash or wish cash. Be interesting running this with a shit ton of energy in your deck so that like a third of the deck so that you're guaranteed well not guaranteed but statistically should get one energy a um a card that could be interesting i don't know how it'd be really yeah it might it might work how many do i have two i need four if I had four of those, I could try. But I don't know if it'd be a very good deck, that's all. <laughs> it might be ter it would probably be terrible. But it'd have the advantage of um, being fighting energy. Because there isn't very many fighting energy decks, and when people come across weakness to fighting, they're all a bit like, I don't know what to do, or they just don't game plan for it. Alright, it's this one. Bulletproof. Yeah. Okay, come on. Ugh. Uh, search your deck for a... A polywag, A polywag, a polywhirl, and a polywrath. 
and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. You may shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. Interesting. Weird. What are all the, the cards associated with that? You got Poliwhirl. What was it? Poliwhirl and Poliwrath. Uh, I'll figure it out later. <laughs> you guys don't want to see me go, uh, what's that Pokemon? And trying to figure out Pokemon. Take forever. Alright, open another. And we have, this is our second last. This is our second last. Alright, so we've got a few of these uh, fancy B-wares now. And like I said, it'd be nice to be able to drop these into your uh, theme decks instead. Just substitute them out. Bling it out a little bit would be cool. Alright, especially the trainers, full art trainers. I love full art trainers if you haven't got that. Got the gist of that. They just look really cool. Um, I wish the full art Pokemon looked as cool as the full art trainers. Because the full art Pokemon looks shit. Alright, here we go. Boom. Trevenant, nice. It's like not amazing. Like it's not like a where you go, sweet, what a pull type thing, but he's seeing a lot of use in standard, so be good to get a collection of him going. His uh poltergeist is pretty crazy. Um does 30 damage for each trainer card in your opponent's hand, and you get to look at his hand obviously as well. So that is pretty cool. And two double colorless as well, so some nice nice card last one lucky last lucky last bam oh salazzle damn it he's good in a uh, theme but not much else done all right so let's go to the collection I just want to see what the first card I got was Pokemon new and we want new GX Why? I only got oh no because of the that's not helpful it only shows the new ones that you haven't gotten before not as in they're just here damn it so what do we get? See if I can remember. So we got this one, obviously, because it's saying new. We got Vicar Vault. We got Lycan Rock. Ah, oh, we only got those then. Damn. Oh, well, still. What's that? Three? Three in 20 packs? It's not... Not horrible, but not great. I think that's pretty pretty run-of-the-mill average. Like, you, you can't get be too devastated with it, but you're not super excited with it either. Hmm. But yeah, in my opinion, the, the normal cards here all these normal uh, what do you call it um, GX's look cool full art not so much yeah the regular actually look better well at least I think so what do you guys think leave a comment down below yeah speaking of all that um, so if you enjoy these pack opening videos um, please leave a thumbs up and comment down below let me know um, and if there's maybe if I can see if I can collect a, a particular set I'll try and get 20 of that um, for the next one opening but as default maybe I'll keep going for the uh, Guardians Rising unless um, there's some specific ones you want unfortunately I probably will only be able to get what's available in the store so if we go to the store booster packs so yeah it, chances are like because I don't really want to buy any because uh, you know I live in a caravan and I pour um, I'm not necessarily poor but 
yeah, throwing money away on Pokemon is not a super big option <laughs> at the moment. Maybe eventually it would be, but at the moment, not so much. So, just what's in the store is probably what I'll be doing. Though I'm still probably going to focus on Sun and Moon, then I might work my way back. I might skip Evolutions, uh, mainly because I, the cards aren't very good. And yeah, I might might try some some in there. Maybe um, try the ones with the with cards that I'm keen on. Maybe some of the trainers, the Fallout trainers, but I think they're really hard to get. So probably a bit of a waste but yeah anyway I'll be trying another Sun and Moon Guardians Rising uh, 20 packs but that's like 4,000 of these game token thingies so that'll take a while so wrapping up um, like I said if you enjoyed thumbs up would be great comment down below and subscribe would be awesome um, I know there's a couple new subscribers which is very nice and a nice boost because I was getting a little frustrated with the meta and took a, like a week off um, in from standard and just playing. I just needed a bit of a, a chill. Came back, three new subscribers, and I'm like, damn, okay, all right. That's that's a lot of motivation for me. So I like, must be doing something right. And yes, yeah, so thank you very much for your support. And I will see you guys next time. All right, later.